start recording. Okay, yeah, good job, Anna. Can, can you still hear me? Yeah, no, perfectly. I can okay. hear you. Yes, my yeah, good job, Is Anna. everything okay on your side? Oh, okay, all right, thank you. good. Uh, so I'm looking yes. at the. Let me see, let me maybe share my screen with you. Here. Okay. But yeah, so I've been looking. Good job, Anna. So you got pretty much all the, all the parts here. On the here, bomb, yes. Which is pretty good. Now, <clears throat> so the first first comment is, um, uh, yes. as I said, it's a that's a high price. So we want to discuss. It's a very high price. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just just noticing through some of this, like, for example, in okay. item number, this one here. Yes. Like usage cost, you put. We just need one of those, so it's like three. You you have three ninety eight. It's, it's, it's way above yes, the one. yes, yes. Uh, so little details like okay. that. Um, I didn't go through oh, the right. whole thing in detail. Uh, there's no, other details no, like, um, for example, the rods here. You've got ten millimeter. The rods. Yes. We need eight. Okay. All right. Um. On the stepper motors, yes, yes. Uh, they might be. Uh, they're a little smaller than what we have. We have to look at that in detail. Converted to what we think and is, which is fifty-five ounce, ounce inch. inch. Yes. Uh, we uh, use like we use uh, seventy-two yes. ounce inch. It yes. there's. You know, like actually testing that for what the limits of good function are. We we've always did the seventy-two ounce inch, but we can maybe do what you have there. We'd have to look at it in okay. detail. Um, okay. So beyond that, I haven't gone down down the road. So into so, the yeast. Yes. So the big idea is, uh, I think we can probably get this get this down to uh, no true reasonable number uh, so some questions about that so let's talk about first of all because uh, this is kind of like you know for perspective this is kind of like we got to make yeah. sure you the first thing like what are your supply chains there like right mm, before, that's true okay. um, before we build all the open source micro factories around the world we're gonna need to get supplies right and that's true. definitely where yeah. we're going towards but right now yeah. we, we're depending on yeah. other sources um, yes. Regarding yes. regarding the sources from China, do you have access to AliExpress? Yes, we can ship from AliExpress, and uh, we can do Ali. Yes, it, it does ship to South Africa. It does ship. Um, how yes. come you haven't um, included any AliExpress possibilities? You just didn't look that far yet. No, because you already have them. So it, what you have, in fact, uh, it also has the option where if you want to order ship them to South Africa, I can just use your your current uh, as you've got them there. Oh. So it'll be just a matter of shipping years as per what you have on the on the list. So there was really no need to to do that. So it just gives you the option on one of the drop down options. You just have to change from maybe delivery to South Africa instead of the US. Okay. Well, that's that's yes. good news. Um, yes, let's take yes. a look at an example just to convince ourselves here. Yes. So, for example, if you take a look at, um, okay, I know the controller part. Yes. Let me see if I can get that, pull that up. Well, let me share my screen so you can see what I'm doing here. No problem. Yes. Um, but if we take a look at controller, I know that's you know that's a big deal. Yes. Um, so I have. Okay, that's yours. Um, yes. So the one would be, so be mine. Yes. yes. Well, that's eBay, so we can also so. do you eBay as well. Yes. You have eBay as well. We can also do eBay. Yes. Yes. I've, I've bought a few things from the UK through eBay previously. Is the shipping but, uh, affordable? Uh, it, well, I, I I had a connection in the UK. I used to do. I used to deliver an address in London then they will they will come through that person so it obviously it wasn't a uh, big packages at, at, at the time uh, so it was affordable in that way at the time but for now I can just check what it will come down to versus maybe sourcing locally here okay yes. um. so let's see so if you've got uh-huh so something like that it's a little different because the screen has to be a little 
It's not this. Yes, I think I think the second on the second row is, is the kind of the right LCD. Uh -huh. The screen was the right one. Just the second link that I have. I actually looked at that. I saw the. Uh, if you go to the other one, I think the the one next to that is that looked a bit more like. Uh, yes, that one. That looked like more. It conformed with what yeah. you have. The Yes. Yeah, and that's seven, and it's even cheaper. Yeah, so I, I just didn't use. So I also need to, because uh, I also still needed to do a bit of my uh, sort of refining on the yeah. on the on the bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, so yeah. we're seeing some little changes, and then yeah. for example, so the let's let's see what happens. No, not this one, but if we do to this one, if we say so. Let's see. Can I? Hmm. No, it doesn't allow me a shipping. How can I do like? Uh, uh, can I just try it on my side? Maybe yeah. to see. Yeah, go we went to, to South Africa with that option. Yes, I think I can. Yeah, show uh, me. Let me also try and share the screen. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to look for the option. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, open. Oh no. I'm just so what have uh, you been up to this week are you doing uh are yes, you doing the, like the, work with the, your regular job or that's correct yes i was seeing a few clients this week uh in fact there was just some work that i i, I was uh working on now i was doing more presentations and all that for the clients yeah yes yeah. i'm just trying to share my screen because i've got the uh I don't know if you're able to see my my screen on your end. Uh, yeah, let me see here. Where? where okay. Uh, I need mm. to stop sharing. Okay, let's see. Can you share yours? Yes, I'm trying to share it from my end. Uh, da, 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 da. The uh, share screen. It keeps on taking me to. So I'm looking for my desktop more than uh, maybe let me try sorry for that I'm just trying to because when I share screen Chrome tail application window uh, here we go uh, da, da, da. I click Chrome tab yeah Yes, I don't know if you can see it. I should have the Amazon. I just open randomly, just the, yeah. for example, the alarm table. Yes. So if you look on the top right, uh, so the top left corner, yeah, there is the option to deliver to to SA. So, but the price I see it's still in dollars. Uh, Cause I I know Ali was was. In fact, let me just try and open. Ali was showing in rents already. Yeah, yeah. Show just, me uh, Ali. Yeah. I think the last time it was showing in in rents. Uh, nah. Okay, no, I, I don't see it in rents. Uh, but it did give me an option. I just have to look down where. Uh, where it How come was. I'm not seeing your screen? I'm seeing the Amazon still. Is it still the Amazon? Okay, maybe maybe I'm. Uh, sharing the wrong screen. Uh, uh, this is the Ali. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ease. Okay. But then it's still showing the the dollar. But I know it does have the uh, ship to SA. So take a look at the one like the controller, ramps controller. Like the. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me go to the ramps controller. Just. Uh, mm hmm. Okay, I'll just have to reshare the screen. Point two. Okay, this one says, I don't know, something went wrong there with the website. Just try the other one. Yep. 
uh, here we go to share Here we go. Okay, but it doesn't show any other price. But then on top there, then there'll be an option to ship to SA. Show me and one that does show I, the price. Mm. Yes, I just want to try and convert it to the South African uh, rent. And uh, there we go. Then it should uh, then automatically up upgrade to. Okay, this one doesn't have a price. Can I just go to yeah yeah find, uh, find one that one. I, I don't know. Okay, all right. Find okay, another. there was uh, all right, no problem. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna share the other screen. PI. Yes. Since we talked last, I started looking into solar container ships. Because I think we might have to oh, build, yes. them, build them in the future. Oh, yes. uh, is it for the with with? So I did also as a, as a bit of an update. My partner I, uh, he was trying to arrange the the just the price and everything for the for the the code FM code to deliver the chrome. So I'm just gonna kindly link you up with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yes, with regards to the chromite, because I think they they were asking a few questions that I thought maybe it's better if you deal with them directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be great. Uh, yes. So at the end of the call, I'll just link you up with her, and then she'll just take you to the because the guys already does shipping, so it, it looks like it's not a problem to go to the states. So they just wanted uh, more details in terms of if we go Kansas City and all those kind of grades and all the other things. Yeah, they wanted more information. Okay. All right. Okay, just still converting. I think that will be, for example, the. Uh, no. Okay, I think I don't know because it it does show the price, but yeah. then on this one particularly, it doesn't give. It says cannot deliver to SA. I don't know what is the reason uh, for that. The supplier or shipping company. Also, I think maybe it might be itemized what can be delivered the site. Okay. I don't know if you can you are able to see that message there because it came back with that note to say that the supplier or the shipping company doesn't okay. deliver to this. Well, take a look yes. at, for example, the controller. So let's let's take a look at the controller. At so the controller, can... yes. Uh, uh, mm, Okay, I've got I've got it on eBay. I'm just gonna share the eBay. Yeah. Uh, mm, mm, I think that's the one. Yep, should be up the screen. Okay. Um. Yes. So that's more like I think obviously it's an estimate now, and then. Uh huh. Uh, yes. Does it tell you? Can you see what the shipping would be? Uh, the cost. I, I think for that I'll have to have more sort of advances in like buy now. That's how I normally will do it, just to see at the end of it how. Because at least it's more of a firmer co uh, code. I think if I do it that way. Can you make it show the price, or you'd have to see if? You can yes, I. I think you have to register, but let me just try and advance and see if I'm trying to do as if I'm buying something from them and then yeah. see what, what he is. And no, so it, it wants me to create an account first. So that's what it's saying, but I'm, I'm just trying to see if yeah. I think I'll need to create okay, some sort okay. of an account. He so is, is um, do people regularly buy things from aliexpress on in south africa yes some of the things but i i myself i know i'm more familiar with ebay but i know aliexpress yes a lot yes. So i think even amazon right even amazon the us yes amazon so when you looked at um, yes my son all right the alex or sorry the ebay 
before the, the prices are reasonable kind of similar to what you get on aliexpress because aliexpress yes, is very yes. cheap and it's still oh, relatively yeah. cheap yes i guess because they they sell in the big volumes it would make sense because but the uh, price you think like for example if that's the you know like the shipping on this would be affordable i mean we, we need to find out some of those details some of those things yeah, yeah. My, my thinking is that one, obviously with this kind of things uh probably when you buy in volumes uh it, it becomes cheaper because you pay for probably a single uh shipping shipment whereas it instead depends. of buying yeah it depends i mean uh i know some things change for the u.s but before even the small volumes from china you had very affordable shipping still okay all right um, okay but yeah it depends yeah. Um, maybe, okay, let's go through, I just want to go through the list and no let's problem. just go through yeah. this just a little bit here, so maybe, okay, all let right. me share, okay, let me share my screen then, yes, um, mm. so if you take a look at my screen, okay, yeah. Uh, so I highlighted just as a note. I highlighted also the big ticket items just to also see if I can get them elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to also get a chance. Those ones that I've highlighted were sort of the bigger priced items uh, on the on the on the spreadsheet. Yeah. So. Okay. No problem. Yes. Um. Let's see. Yeah, some things are quite a bit. Five meter. Oh, what I can quickly do? Maybe just divide all the rows by seventeen, because I think the exchange rate is about seventeen. Yeah. Uh, so check out seventeen is. Yeah. Okay. So we definitely want to go through this, yeah. but maybe. Yes, master. Maybe what I can ask you to do, I, I can look at this in a little more detail to see if yes. you've got any parts. Like, for example, the, yes. you have to be careful about these bearings. Like, if we're doing, for example, yes. this one. I saw the note. Yes, it says plastic for the for certain axes, and then uh, you were saying, well, oh, this is the flange bearings. Yeah. Okay, that's not. You gotta the... have. Um, that's gotta be six, for example. So just make sure. Okay. You get Yes, I don't know. I think maybe it's I missed similar, that. but yes. it's critical because uh, yeah, no, I know. Yes. Yes. So yes. just little details yes. like that. I was looking at your yes. your angle. Uh, I just provisionally put there because I think if you go back to the spreadsheet, it was more like a. a I just want to see if it did show uh, angle. Um, well, um, yeah, I'm looking at the one you have, the 161. That's yes. about nine dollars for yes. six meters. Yes. Is that a local supplier that you get? This is this is a local supplier. Yes, because some of these things you buy directly from the hardware, or more like a. A still supplier it's cheaper even so you you would actually go to the you know where this place is or that's far this away? place yes physically yes i go to their physical address yes. okay okay so they'll be not far from where i stay yes well that's good that's pretty decent that's uh yes just a little more but and then you know some of the details like for example if you have 40 millimeters yes. yeah we actually have to change the 3D printed pieces from one and a half inch to 40 millimeter, which is a little different. But yes. that part, we actually have a we have a designer within FreeCAD, which we can generate those new corners. Actually, so we can work on that. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. Yes. So. There's still a bit of homework uh, yeah. because obviously it, it needs to be really refined uh, yeah. because I also believe in, in optimization for the price. So this was more like a rough uh, 
I think the sort of the r- r- rough order magnitude uh, yeah. in terms of the cost. Yeah. Is. So obviously, I'll do a bit more refined uh, over the weekend. I was just a bit uh, held up. Uh, my week was very tight, so okay. at least from okay. tomorrow, I can start working more on the refinement of the of the prices. Okay. okay. So that's why I'm, I'm 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 really optimistic that we will, we will I'll be able to at least knock down a few things. Uh, because yeah. the one approach was to try and single source from some of the DIY shops. I realize there's quite a few guys uh, that do a little bit of DIY, especially on the CNC side. Uh-huh. So they've incorporated 3D printing into their into their things. So their websites are not necessarily all up to date in terms of the things that they they have. So my intention was to also go into the stores because uh, some of those guys do have physical addresses and see if they yeah. do have prices that I can also sort of use uh, uh, just to see if I can knock down the, the the pricing on the list. Yeah, yeah. Like yes. for example, let's take a look at one. Like for example, belt. For yes. me, it's um, a timing belt. Yes, it's. I don't know what the cost. Yeah, cost is, is um, much different. So actually, take a look at. Can you search on this okay. for the belt timing belt on AliExpress? See if it gives you a real price. Yes. The one you have is like. I mean, it's tiny timing belt. It should be cheaper. Yes, because like I'm saying, because sometimes I think yeah, some of the. Should I go to the Ali? Link? Yeah, yeah. Take a look at that. Oh, okay. All right, let me consider um, that. It's like eight times um, more from this place. No, it shouldn't be. He's uh, like, like to per. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out of control. Expensive. So yeah, take take a look at Ali. Mm. I want to uh, see. Show me like one that we can actually see the price, so we have hope that yeah, they actually do have very affordable shipping. Otherwise, uh, we might have to start our solar shipping container line first. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that might be, in fact, better because yeah, it's cheaper to source from the States and then deliver elsewhere. I think well, that would be even better. Yes. That, it could be, but I mean, that's not yet. We're, we're not ready for that yet. No, that's maybe in no. five or ten years. Yeah, <laughs> maybe two years or three years. Yes. More like uh, five to ten. Yes. That's that's big. That's big things. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, because I see it's it's with Ali. If it's just on the let me just project it. Uh, what they are estimating. Uh, it's a cost to ship in the side, so they're talking about 94 and so, uh, how much it would just a sec. Yeah, show me, show me your screen. You wouldn't uh, mind. I think it's this one. Yeah, so this is how much it would for 10 meters. Uh, yes, so it does get shipped to SA. But it's then expensive to ship. This is how much the cost for shipping would be. Whoa. Okay, so that's yeah, quite so it a shoots bit. it out of the window. But take a look at. Yes. Uh, what are the other options under shipping? Go down a little bit, and go right under the uh, shipping to South Africa okay. EMS instead of no go up. Oh, maybe some other. Yeah, there. Like, all right. Whoa. You get more expensive. E. So this I think was the cheapest, and yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so one one thing we need to verify is that no, that's that knocks it out of the ballpark. So e. we would be really e. stressed for that, those kinds of prices. So yeah, so we definitely have to make a case that after shipping, we are still yeah. affordable. Because yeah, the price is right here, but. Mm. No, with the shipping, we're talking about large increases. Yes, yes. It's, it's a big number. That's why I was thinking, if, if it's one, a single source, then it doesn't matter where you ship from, because then it can be cheaper. Because I don't know if this takes into account customs, this side, yeah. or... Yes. Right, no, those, yeah, those yeah. issues we need to resolve um yes. yeah yeah but 
I'll, I'll, I'll just try more for the refinement. I, I believe yeah. maybe it's SA, SA. SA. I'll, I'll try to really work on it and refine. I, I just believe, especially the big, I'm thinking in those big ticket items yeah. uh, that I think I can knock them at least by one third. Then it should at least come and come back. Because I was just looking at those three items that I highlighted on the on the, on the the spreadsheet. I mean, they come to about 10K in South African rents, wow. which is a lot of money. So it's almost half of, of the whole cost. Oh, uh, attributed to, I just want to share the screen. Uh, so these three items uh, all together, and these are like tools, they're not really, so I, I just believe that I can get them cheaper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, man, that was, that's, that's about, that's about 10K. So that's about half of the cost. That's a killer right there. Let me see. What, so if you look at my screen, the other option, they do have... Uh, in America, USPS has a flat rate international box. Let's see if that. Oh, okay. So USPS right. dot. Well, okay. Uh, USPS shipping USP. calculator. Okay. Let's, Let's see, see if they, they have, have a flat rate, rate box. box. If that's, that's even an feasibility. So, so shipping rates. And, and then we're, we're going, going to, to South Africa. Africa. SAEs South Africa. Uh, probably they will go just the top yes. Mm, so, so look, look at the flat rate boxes, boxes see if they, they have them. Mm. Nope. Nope. See, it doesn't it. exist. Yes. So yeah. that's also not an, not an option. Not an option. Yep. Um yeah, yeah, we have to yeah, I think the only way is just to refine, bet, find better suppliers, and think yeah. we yeah. ease. Or so. like once we get the final list, we can, you know, this actually would be an interesting case for mm. certain redesign. For for example, if we have mm. like those, well, first mm. of all, we want to be printing the linear bearings soon. So that yep. would get that rid of that one. Uh, that requires a high temperature printer that will. Oh, okay. Would have. All right. Uh, like, if we talk about the greater program, uh, in yes. the near term, yes. it's about developing the much larger and the high temperature printers. So that's near term. Okay. Within like six months or so. Yes. So yes. if you are in the OSE chapters replication program like after yes. one year yes. we would have access yes. to it because the concern here is um, yes. okay so uh, sh share yeah okay. stop sharing so I can see you again let's talk okay. a little right, bit Michael. about kind of like okay. a greater yes. greater yes. plan okay um, all right yes yeah, can you stop, so, stop sharing your screen at the bottom there so I can see you again? Oh, sorry, please. I don't, uh, let me see. Yeah, there you uh, go. There you back. go. Yes. So, All right. so the program is, I mean, the concern that's on my side, it's like when, when we get you going okay, and after one year or, or two years, oh, so training, yes, yes. we want to make sure that you're up and running and you have a way to make a living doing this, right? So it's a viable, yes. viable business yes. model. Of course we need yes, yes. Uh, so I think some of the things on the cost of producing mm. a 3D printer we mm. can address mm. by things mm. such as some substitution. Like I, I, I've struggled with those M6 by 12 by 4 flanged bearings. Like those are hard to get a little okay. bit. Okay. But yes, like that, I struggled example, a bit to be honest. Yes, yeah. As well. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate yes. that part because I've struggled with that myself. Mm. But for there, mm. we can, for example, use a regular bearing and just print, okay. print like right. a flange for the bearing. So we can yes. we can do that. It will be a little, you know, we have to rework the production engineering just a little bit. Yes. Uh, but it's a definite yes. feasible, definitely doable. So maybe like as we go international, like part of the strategy is mm. to simplify the tool mm. chain, mm. The, the, the production yes. parts even more, which is yes. good because that makes it more accessible to everyone. So it makes us work True, a little harder, yes. but that's part of it why we want to do the chapters because then we are forced yes, to yes. make these improvements. I call those improvements. Yes. Those tiny bearings, man, yes. that's such a specialized part. 
I saw that he, yes. he, he yes. it looks like they only made in China or something. Yeah, so like um, not, yeah, I can only get them. Like it seems like there's yeah. like one shop in Hong Kong that makes them or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that. But right. we can definitely do better. Like for example, we have three D printed small bearings. Like we have done that uh, with oh, metal balls. Okay. You use the metal balls, wow. but three D print the rest. So that kind of stuff actually sure. works really well. Uh, wow. We've done it. Wow. Um, so yeah, there's there's ways to do it. And then of course you have to optimize that so you get completely reproducible yes. results every time. Um, all of that. Yes, so it's better if yes. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so we definitely need a little bit more. We have some leeway in terms of some of the parts that we can yes. start producing ourselves, like more 3D printed parts. Definitely okay. the bearings. Okay. Um, as far as the controller. Okay. And power supply, I think we actually. Oh, okay. uh, if we talk about a one-year time scale, yes. I do also believe that that's one of those things where we can actually make the make the controllers ourselves from yes. common components. Yes. Yes. So basically, the circuit okay. board, like the the Arduino, uh, the Mega the power mm. supply so those are a little you know the, that gets us into reworking. yes yes the, the whole yes, yeah. design and yes, yes, but it's yes. doable and it's definitely worthwhile if we want this Not to be, yes, yeah to be something yes. that like if you don't have those supply chains like in south africa you can just go yes. go ahead and make them anyway because you can go at the deeper level of the supply chain mm. you can get for mm. example circuit boards and components mm instead of the yes. finished boards that now we're kind of like yes. stuck on getting them from manufacturers Through that manufacturers, like, yes. yeah china yes. or manufacturers that you know may not mm. produce them forever you know mm. like we we like to mm. ha offer the lifetime design uh, yes. aspect yes. where it doesn't matter if the suppliers stop producing it we can do it ourselves and that way, we have a complete yes. advantage in terms of the kind of warranties and service we can provide, which really yes. reduces the price to very, very low, um, which is a very unique value proposition compared to anyone. Mm -hmm. Like, even if you look yes. at, uh, I was looking at suppliers of tools like cordless power tools. Nobody okay. warranties their yes. stuff for like more than a few years. Because they can't. It's like you're depending on electric motors that break, oh, yeah. maybe gears yes. that break, and nobody makes that yes. themselves. Yes. They're depending yes. on other people, so it's a big cost if you got to supply yes. it and get other people yes. to do it. But if you're doing that yes. in house with, yes. say, 3D printed electric motors, yes. 3D yes. printed gears made from acetal, yes. which is a good material yes. for gears, uh, yes. we can do a lot of that yes. kind of stuff. But it requires a different kind of thinking which is really yes. about the circular economy, empowering yes. uh, local communities, distributed manufacturing, a complete yes. shift and yes. pretty much correcting the industrial system the, from its current state. So, yes, yes. No, I, I do follow because it then becomes more like a loop manufacturing yeah. where you continuously, yeah. it's more sustainable. Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And then when the things break, you don't throw them out, you recycle all the components because you know how yes. to do it. There's that's, no that's waste. The, yes. That's the beautiful part. Yeah. Like the life, yes. we're building in the end of life stewardship into what we're doing True. here. So, yes. Yes. That's no, it, uh, it, yeah. it's, it's, my, it's more of a perfect model. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And for you guys, it becomes makes even more sense because it's harder to get those parts and you can't just throw them out. It's such a waste. We're here. Exactly. I mean, people yes. just throw those things out like, you know, such a uh, throwaway society. But that's very much irresponsible. It's not the way to go. <laughs> so, yeah, I think yes, yes. No, but it's it, it's really interesting, uh, Martian, because now I mean it is. So, because when one around it, uh, then it can whole. So you're basically in control of the whole value chain. Uh, you supply your own yes, and then you still run your own production, and it becomes more like a loop. Uh, uh, yeah. sort of a uh, model business model yes which makes sense it makes sense yeah absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. um so i think we could be okay in terms of 
what we can the, do for the, the supply chain. We can make some improvements. But yes, I think yes. if you are competing with, so say you're running the operation in South Africa, just thinking about it, yes. like I'm looking yes. at the economic feasibility of it. I think yeah. even if you yes. cannot get the prices as low, yes. you're also competing with others who also have limited access to supply chains as well. The supply chains, that's that's the problem here. Yes, in fact, it's more of an advantage because, yeah, it's the same thing. Because yeah. it's the same thing. In other words, it should be, even if the price maybe of the 3D printer in South Africa may be higher, it may still yeah. work because nobody can deliver it for a lower cost. You know? Yeah. In fact, funny enough, can I just maybe Google how much an average printer? I don't know what size. Uh, I just want to see maybe just while you there what it would cost to buy one off shelf. Can I do that? Yeah. Just to see. Let's, let's what take a look at, for example, to... South Africa. Yes. 3D printer companies. Yes. I looked at that before. Okay. Well, because I know what they do, they also sell the printer without really the the software and stuff. So you still have to do a lot of buying. So you're not just shopping for the printer itself, but you have to buy a lot more stuff. Well, also if the printer breaks, you don't have. It's my way to it replace is, it. So you have to pay somebody. Yes. Let's see. Do these guys? I just want have... to show my screen, uh -huh. just to show you an average. Uh, I don't have got the options there. I just wanted to show you. No, not this. Uh, oh wow! They actually so have the Lulzbot Mini. Let's see, thirty-two thousand. Yes. Oh, are you able to see my screen, Masha? Sorry, I don't know if. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I oh, just wanted to share only, my screen. Only the ounce inch conversion screen. Oh, sorry. I was just. Yes. I think I opened. Yeah. This is the one I wanted to share. Yeah. Well, anyway, you have the, for example, the Lulzbot Mini or Lulzbot yes. Taz. Uh, okay. 54,000. Mm. That's three thousand United States dollars. Yeah, I mean, basically, their prices are a little higher than in the United States. Okay, that's the okay. Kind of is, that, is that the equivalent uh, of it? so? It's about fifty three thousand. Yeah, that's that's For quite one a lot. That's got a twelve inch bed, which is one of the versions that we can definitely build. So yeah, okay. yeah I think right. I don't know. I think because also you have less less competition. That's the yes, yes, yes. Uh, because everyone's in the same boat. They all have access to a little more difficult Limited yeah. e resources, yes, yes. So and they, the, obviously they're relying on somebody in Europe or yeah. in the US or China to supply yeah. them with a part. And uh, even, I think more costly, it's like they have to pay for maintenance uh, uh, for whatever, regular updates and whatever on the, the new versions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a never-ending cost because it, you you always have well, to. Look at that, yeah. Sort of and the cheapo, ease. like the ones you're showing on your screen. Yes. I mean the cheapest. Yeah, I don't know how, but it looks tiny. It looks very small. Yeah, uh, those are. Yeah, those are kind of like the. Yes, because I think we're looking printers. at least in mean industrial scale we're not looking at this household kind of sizes so i think the entry level there would be yeah just yeah entry level you uh, still get the cheap stuff but tell me i mean if you go so you can actually buy these things without sh so like for example xyz da vinci junior 5000 yeah like online? for instance this one is that online yeah you can it's it's online. Let me just go to the website. See how much uh, shipping is. And this now, uh, I just want to see. I've, this online definitely. So I think I just want to see. Uh, yeah. Just want to try and see what the shipping cost would be. Mm. Yeah. Mm, just want to see. So, so you're definitely going to have competition from the cheapo Chinese printers, but that's not the space we're in. We're in industrial production zone more. 
So, yes. a little different. Yeah, because I think also the Chinese shipment, everybody's questioning, you know, because in China you get a, a different kind of qualities. So sometimes I'm, I'm just trying to see. So you, you, the, the, yeah. there's not really much support there, you know, from China and the likes. Mm -hmm. So it actually becomes more of a burden dealing with those guys as well. Uh, I, I, I'm not winning with the shipment. Uh, I was trying to put it in a card and see if proceed to check out. Ah, there we go. Nah. Well, I need to create an account to see exactly how much it would come to. Yeah. But I just want to I mean, see. I think, I think the case is just like anywhere else. It's about if we're starting a yes. business, you know, it's... Yes. It's developing the product and marketing and all of that. I mean, if we have the product, cool. it's going to be, I think, as a startup, yeah. it's, it's going to be a struggle. But I think that's the kind True. of risk you would be taking... Um, do you think you could make it work? Yeah, it's it's doable. That's why I believe I I, I first I, I can I should be able to knock down those prices. Once I've done that, obviously, uh, I'm sure it should be just like the normal uh, stuff to overcome. But it's it should be doable. Yeah, I, and then yeah. as far as the features or the industrial qualities that we have, I mean, we're selling. We're in a different yes. market, so it's it's once again it's it's showing your value mm. proposition and being able to sell it. Mm. And I think we have mm. to do that, whether we're in the states, mm. which mm. I think it's easier. People just have more. There's more money in the states, mm. but mm. in South yes. Africa, you'd have to work at it. Of course, and yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that does that part. As an entrepreneur, how do you feel about that part? Uh, which part so much and I might have missed it you well, mean the part, the... the part that it that is a as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. there is no yes. guarantees and you have to make it work yeah obviously you have to look for the markets because uh, like I say I haven't really been much into this uh, but like an entrepreneur you just have to sort of chat into you know ways that you haven't really chat that into and see what what happens obviously calculating the risk and i think that's why the approach is right we first try and source and see what it, it comes to the feasibility of it and then uh, at this point i think it, if it just a little bit of refining on the kpex mm -hmm. side yeah. i think it should be able to to be viable or feasible because the rest really becomes a part of marketing and uh uh, sort of trying to introduce the technology into the sort of the the, the people or consumers uh, uh, mm -hmm. out there, you know. Yes. Yeah. And then I think my biggest question, what because I, I see three D printing is quite big in the states, uh, China as well. I would say maybe the first world yeah. countries. And then what I just wanted to find out, uh, I saw it on the on the spreadsheet there was a bit of the patterns. So uh, sort of the the yeah, some some development that you have printed as part of the OSE was this the linear bearings? I know you mentioned earlier on that you've done the the bearings and then uh, and any uh, uh, any other things that you've also done on the on that list. Uh, I just want I just saw that note. I think somewhere there was a point on the spreadsheet. Uh, just want to see that item. Uh, yeah, yeah the unique i think patterns and all that, that. so, so that, that it, does it translate to something that it's been done already that you've done on your site uh i'm, I'm sorry i'm missing the question what is the question oh okay all right sorry much i was saying on the spreadsheet uh the the bomb the bill of material yeah yeah that's where it talks about the parts uh that have been developed the unique patterns and all that is that something oh, that is what Yes, yes. Is this the bearings and all those that we've printed before? Uh, those parts, no. They're primarily the 3D printed yes. corners and the axis pieces and the extruder pieces. Oh, so no, okay. Not, that's right. not talking about the bearings. Uh, that oh, I was, uh, okay. All right. I was doing, uh, actually, um, mm -hmm. just to show you that. Okay. Uh, I want to share my screen for the bearings that I'm talking about. All right. Please. Let me share the screen now because this is very interesting, mm -hmm. and that is mm -hmm. the 
shredder open source shredder mm -hmm. so look at the look at this Whoa. so for example printing these belts yeah. and bearings wow. like this for one inch that's one inch shaft right there sure. um, so this was actually a gear down a large gear down for a shredder wow. uh, so little wow. bearings like what you see that where you have the metal balls and you do the 3d printed bearing housing that works wow. great like for example there you can make wow. use hex shaft and print your bearings for like a dollar or two that would otherwise be like ten or twenty dollars ten uh, times yes yeah e. they work wow. uh, this is I'm actually in the process of doing this so that's uh wow. just to wow. show you a little more detail here yes. uh, that's one inch hex shaft one inch yes just it's 15 more uh, so yeah, so these are bigger parts these are actually e. more for so this is actually yeah, this is actually a thousand in application. Yes, like this is interesting. It's a small motor that's geared down three thousand times. So it's still working on it. This is like huge gear. Yes, down. I like, can see the ratios there. Yes, but at the end, yes. like you cannot stop this from that tiny motor. You know. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So some little details. Okay. Okay. Wow. That kind of yes. stuff. That's yeah. that's a that's a great application of three yes. printing. Yes. Yes. Because yes. there you have like very custom components that you can print to whatever geometry, mm. and that's actually mm. in progress work on the mm. shredder. So you get very huge yes. gear down for a shredder application yes. using a tiny motor, which can still work. It will be wow. it will work, but it will be slow. But you can just let it run yes. all night and shred all your plastic, so that you can Shut. use a tiny motor. It's essentially one yes. human power. It's a hundred watts, but that's how much. Uh, <laughs> But that's how much like a full-time person would be able to do that little yes. motor yes is, can uh, do all that work one person. Sure. Wow. <laughs> so anyway that's like one one human power yeah it's a one human power yeah. system um anyway um yes yeah, so, yes no yeah. interesting stuff so. okay yes. so i think um to go forward let's let's do a little bit more work on uh just Try to refine. No, definitely. Yes, I'll do the refinement, uh, yeah. and then yeah, that should be quicker because now at least I've got the the gist of it. I think it should be a quarter of the time now because yeah. Uh, yeah. obviously the first time was a bit more. Uh, yeah, have to look more into details, but yeah, it should be easier now and quicker. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And then so what, what what I'll do is just to to make a, a a bit more quicker interactions. Once I finish, I'll just keep you up to date, and then just yeah. send you a drop in mail uh, for you to just have a look. And then uh, yeah, it should be yeah. at least once I get it to the level where I think uh, I've pushed it really to where I think it's really the optimal point uh, per se. Then I'll just let you know and say no. I've I've pushed it to this point. Yeah. Uh, and then and let's talk right after that. Then... Let's talk right after yes. that and see where we go because I think I think it looks promising. So I think we can. No, it definitely is. Yes, it. yes, my friend. Um, yes. I, I I'm one person. I believe on making it work. I don't think it will make <laughs> itself work. Yeah, so we just got to <laughs> make it work. Yeah. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Otherwise, how do you yes. feel like after our conversation regarding the potential of the chapter in South Africa? Yes. No, still looking forward. Yeah, great. Uh, I think the outlook uh, looks uh, really promising, and yeah, so just got to make it work, much And yeah. I don't think, yeah, yeah, ease, because you can't really be, yeah, you know, yeah. So I think it's an opportunity. So obviously, uh, it, it's just a matter of myself, just maybe aligning my my schedule. That's my my biggest challenge right now is a bit of on my on the time side. Because I still have, like I explained the last time, I still have a bit of more work that I do yeah. uh, on uh, so, uh, yeah. uh, other time that I have years. But other than that, uh, I don't think uh, it should be workable. Because yeah. obviously, I'm also trying to get myself to be the first to know on my team side as well before I can maybe sort of involve my the guys that I uh, maybe I'm intending to go forward with, so that I can also just be in, in front and, and just understand everything. But so far, well, yeah. I think it's all, yeah. Yeah, that would it's be awesome. important because then you can teach teach your guys on your side 
so you'll be there yeah their guide. yes yes yeah the lead yes 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 yep. but I'm, I'm happy yes i don't know from your side if how how does it look <laughs> because <laughs> yes yeah uh, no i think i think i look forward to, to exploring yes. further so we can move forward mm. and um mm. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think that's good. That's good. Uh, as far as right oh, now, so I mean, as far as your your work with the consulting, I mean, that's pretty much forty hours a week or more or. Overtime, yes, it's or? about forty plus. Yes, yes, just depending on because it gets busy. It, it stretches a lot. One moment you're busy because you get called to side, you have to do this and that. But other than that, and interesting enough, I was looking at the. The one thing that I wanted to ask you that I also use a lot, uh, but it was just something that I saw uh, on the OSC chapter, the 3D scanners. I saw somewhere you, you spoke about 3D scanners. Yeah. Uh, those yeah. obviously are in future work. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's so I just wanted to ask you. Yes. What what, what is the plan there? Is it something that because uh, it aligns quite quite well with the the, the printers as well. I yeah, mean, I, I I use it a lot, even on my my work. When I design, when I develop my three D drawings and all those kind of things, I do use that a lot. You use the three D scanners. Yes, for as builds uh, applications, uh, and sometimes we do a bit of modeling when we do improvements on the because that line does have plans that we sort of optimize and all those kind of things. So we do use a lot of scanning applications and all that kind of thing to sort of what, uh, ease. What do you use for the scanner? The scanner, the company is Meta, Metaport, I think it's Matterport. Matterport. I think it's, an, it's a US company, yes, I think it's Matterport or something like that. They are part of uh, Autodesk, which is these guys uh -huh. who do this, yes, the, uh, AutoCAD, Auto, Autodesk. I think they, they work together, but the company is called Metaport, yes. Metaport, yeah, yeah, built model, models. Yes, um, yes. So for our side, there's open source yes. software like call map there's there's others there's some software yep. yes that if you can process do yes. image processing of a bunch of pictures yes then you can get that to sdl files and you have to learn the workflow in terms okay. of processing it so you clean it up yes. and make it proper yes. um, okay All right. so as far as the actual physical device I think mm. that would just be the phone, mm. the cell phone or, or mm. a camera. Mm. So you take a bunch of pictures mm. and process them. So developing those tool chains uh, would be yeah. Yeah. what we would want to do. Uh, yes. As far as the, the yes. workflow that you use with Matterport, do, do you have to do like a lot of post-processing and cleanup work? or? I don't do it myself. I outsource. So we normally go to somebody who would own. So what what happened is that I think somebody the guys would have an agreement between themselves and AutoCAD, and they they bring the stuff from the state. So we don't really get to. But what I know they do, they put it on cloud, and then they do a bit of cleaning up, and then they process the model, and then they issue it to us. Then we work on the on the model. So they do the refinement on their side. Uh huh. Yeah, like for example, yes. so so on our side, it's more about photogrammetry, which is um, okay, all right, which is processing images to do that. Let's okay. see. Um, all right. Let me show you an example. Like, take a look okay. at this. Like, for example, like Please. on Prusa printers, they show you how to do that. Um, mm -hmm. So this is known technology, but someone needs to really refine it and no, develop it. So take a look at the link I put in the chat box. Um, okay. So that's on a Prusa printers blog. Like they, they have some information on that. If you want to take a look at that, what they're doing okay. there. Okay. Uh, like for example, so. scanning a statute like like that. But there's challenges yes. like as far as the lighting and oh, everything else yeah. to make it proper. You have to mm. have good shots mm. and good kind of lighting mm. so that you can do it properly. Oh, yes. They use call map. Uh, there are oh. others. There's a bunch of open source software that does uh, this this, this kind, kind of application. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's wow, see. Wow, interesting. Yes. Wow. But it would take somebody to sit down at it and and work out the details. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, great stuff. Yes. But obviously, yeah. 
it, it, it's work we'll, we'll see as it comes obviously yeah. under your guidance yes just to see what's 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 happening there yeah it's just it was something interesting that i picked up and then i just wanted to ask you to say oh so it, it is part of the uh is it on the 50 uh machines? because i know that the, the always yeah. it's the 50 that we outcome yes yep. initially and then obviously outgrowing that in the future years yes. yeah yeah definitely that's one of the 50 machines and as far as the fifth the mm -hmm. the immersion program that's not specifically in there because we're focusing on getting the printers mm -hmm. fully yes. up and running and getting to the torch table and filament making True. and all of that uh, mm -hmm. but i mean that's something you can explore on the side a little bit but as far as the format Formal, yeah. formal program it's not not really in there at this, mm -hmm. this point for the mm -hmm. no i understand that yes yeah. okay yes yes awesome all right motion i think yes i'm i'm happy okay uh, and then what i'll do is i i just uh i just send you maybe an email with my partner's uh contact details yeah and then her name is Matem, and then she'll just uh, uh hook you up with the guys that can do the supply the shipment for the chrome because i think they were asking if you it's a once off a uh, kind of arrangement or you want it on a continuous basis and all this yeah. kind of things but i said to her that probably you want to hear first the code and then you'll make yeah in there yeah once. i don't think we're ready right now to to buy right now but okay. this is just for okay for seeing like the feasibility of yeah. that in the first place okay so just get, get a baseline yes. so, so that we, we would save this as something for the future yeah yes yes no because it will be very interesting yeah, yeah to actually also so your i think the, your old interview talking about getting the aluminum from the clay the the normal clay yes yep. Yep, yep. it's quite okay. interesting yes it's quite yeah, interesting that's, it's doable because yep. it will now make things uh, change a bit if yeah yeah that were because i guess one can work on the process yes yes yeah because it's what i kind of do uh, myself as well i sometimes in my spare time i look at flow sheets and just think this crazy things how i can also sort of go about you know not the normal bias processes and all those kind of things just try and look for other yeah. alternative ways yes. so it's, it's very interesting if yeah could, absolutely apart from the normal clays yep okay yeah all right, my son. All right. Okay, so uh, I don't know. On my side, uh, is it enough that we'll speak then maybe during the week? I, yeah. I, I think maybe no later than Wednesday I should have it done. Okay. Uh, okay. And then I'll just let you know. And, and then, then I, I don't know how flexible, because I know you're quite busy. I'm sure you're dealing with a lot of people. So I also just uh, prefer to at least come in when you are a bit free. So I don't know when is the best time to maybe speak yeah. there after. Yes. Yeah, as soon as you let me know what you got, I'll take a look at it okay. and we can set up a time to talk. Yep. All right, no problem then. Okay. Because yeah, even during the week, I'm okay, but I'll also just give a heads up if I'm, I am not, I can't really talk. But normally, anytime I should be able to, uh, to, to, to speak to you for a few minutes if we need to. Okay. All, All right. right. Excellent. Let's see. Thank you. So we'll be in touch and Thank look forward very to the much. All right. next iteration. Okay. Cheers. Yeah okay no great stuff then i'll i'll yeah thanks likewise okay take care then bye yep. bye, -bye. bye.